Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. We're doing your 28 to the 29th Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go. We've skipped the 27 because we are pressed for time. Alrighty, let's give it a go. Good morning, America. Good morning, world. How are you? Mm -hmm. Be careful to anything that smokes. So if they smoke, I'm not sure if you smoke, no judgment over here, but about some smoke. Okay, you might get burn or something. Something about burning, okay. Well, that's that's a clear message, so. Of course, <laughs> there's smoke, there's fire. Okay, be careful, okay? That's what I can see here. Especially, I believe it's, uh, yeah. I think it's because of the movement of um, are we moving? No, we're not. Oh, we just moved from water to fire, but now fire to earth. Okay, so Just say okay, this is gonna be for 2829. We haven't started yet. Okay, but this is the eight of swords So you might you might be you know having the cold or the flu over there Okay, not feeling well or the other person is okay cross watcher. Here we go Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Here we go. Here we go. The full card, which is your card, if I'm not mistaken, right? I call this free willy. I didn't say your orca. Okay. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. Mm, I remember that, Pisces. Mm -mm. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. This is someone who resonates with more of the... I just want to be free, you know, I just want to do myself and be free. Um, maybe you're cutting cords, you're just all about, you know, you're all about starting all over again. Okay, so things has wrapped up, things has finished, you're taking things lightly, you're doing it slow and, not even slow and steady, you're going where the flow is. So if it's like, if, it, if career moves here, you're fine. Family moves here, you're fine. You're basically just like a bamboo, you know? You just go with the flow, just like a bamboo, okay? Let me see here the other person. If you're resonating with the bamboo also, you lucky. <laughs> okay, very, very, um, you know, fortune-oriented plant. Let's just keep it that way. If Jupiter would choose a plant, it would have been a bamboo. <laughs> okay, here we go, other person. Six of Pentacles, a payout. Payables. <laughs> this is also you. It's like, well, I just paid a lot of stuff. Now I'm out. <laughs> You're out because it's just like I'm gone. Like I, I, I took care of the things that I have to take care of, which is the beggars here. You probably have kids just saying, you know, getting allowance from you. It's like, mommy, mommy, I got, you know, I need some money for the school, and you're giving them here, taking care of business. Uh, but this can be the other person also. Um, you know, normally it's a tit for tat they call with the six of pentacles. I see this. I really don't understand what is a tit. Like, what is a tit and tat? Why? Like, is tit a real... <laughs> just, <laughs> is it a real word? I don't know. Or is it slang for something? I don't know. You know what? Let's give it like that. Okay. <laughs> I always get in trouble with that word. <laughs> with the, the Six of Pentacles, I don't know if it's an abbreviation. Six of Pentacles with the full card. For you right now, it's like, if they do give me attention, thank you. Okay. If they don't, you're welcome okay so you're really just out like you're probably halfway out of the door or you're basically just trying to hold the door open behind you and it's like yeah whatever right now you're really end up you're in the vibration of of if they do they do if they don't they don't okay or vice versa of course of cross watcher see eight of pentacles you're maintaining your focus on something that you have just started, you know. This is forging your luck also, meaning um, you're probably more focused on your 10th house, which is the house of career. You're focused on things that are um, would give you a sense of growth, accomplishment. And this is inner work also, because number eight is, um, you know, this is the death and rebirth process. And number zero is the number of God. So there is some sort of connection with the source right now that you're trying to manifest, meaning you're trying to work your connection you know, with the source, with your higher self. That's good. That's where you're at right now. Or the other person. Let me see here. Other person here. Six of Wands. Don't like the Six of Wands. We never did. <laughs> okay. Someone who feels that they're famous, but they're not. 
It's called the Instagram likes. Okay, just saying. Follow me on Instagram. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, famous for what? <laughs> Not unless you're Kim K, then you're famous, really. But uh, I don't know. Because normally this resonates with 500 followers. <laughs> just saying. Okay, I know a six of ones when I see one. Okay. So this can be you or the other person who gets the likes, like blip, 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 six, six of pentacles. This is a person who does something in order for them to get recognition. Meaning, if they're not going to get recognized, then why would I even help? Why would I even bother if I don't get attention? So they do things really tit for tat. Maybe that's the word, tit for tat, really. Okay, you know what? I don't know. I'll research what is tit for tat. <laughs> okay. Six of Wands. That's that's. This is a narcissist energy, guys. Okay, it's not about movement towards success. No, that's why you don't mind this person anymore right now. It's like do whatever you want. Okay, let me see underneath the Eight of Pentacles and the Fool card, Eight of Cups. Okay, do whatever you want because you've done it anyway. You know, it's like you've walked in my life, you walked out of my life. There's a song about that, so I'm just seeing it. Okay. Underneath the eight of one, the six of ones energy, ace of swords. Okay. So they want to tell you something why they walk away, or if you walk away, whoever walk away wants to clear something. The clearing of something. Okay, I'm not sure what that's thing. Okay, <laughs> because it's real. Someone here might just say this is over also, because if you declare it's over, they're gonna declare it's over because ace of swords is cutting through the bull. Okay, meaning this is the last time that you probably will talk to this person and the last time that they're going to talk to you if it's unresolved because this is clearing of, um, okay. Okay, okay. Tit for tat is an English origin equivalent to retaliation. Re equivalent, okay, you know what? We'll research on it. <laughs> so, but yeah, but this is... This is like, because they see you as someone who's who's moved on. So they probably will just tell us like, oh, you know, it's like, it's nice to see you that you've moved on. You know, there is some shade. That's what I know when they say that. Nice to see you that you have moved on. Mm -hmm. Still, they want your attention here. That you've moved on from my, from 500 subscribers, maybe from 500 followers. You know, that's what this person is. To the last minute, they will tell you about themselves. Yes, and they're the one who hurt you, by the way, okay? <laughs> let's keep it, let's keep it a hundred. Let's keep it real. Mm -hmm. And this is how the real this person is. The real narcissist, that's what I say, okay? All right, so, Pisces, that went south fast, okay? I'm going to continue this reading as we move forward with these energies, okay? Whatever this communication, if it's over, it's over. If it's moving, moving from where, all right? Thank you very much, Pisces, 28 to the 29. No snippets until the September. Bye, guys.